Hey guys, so this video is here specifically to show you how to download a Google Hangout on air and then convert it into an MP3 so you can make it a podcast. So specifically what you want to do is you want to make sure when you're recording your Google Hangout, you're doing a Google Hangout on air because the on air versions can be recorded and then downloaded later. So here I have a week of series of classes that I do with a bunch of my students and I can just pick one at random to download click on that from my YouTube channel and just hit download and it will download right away and then simply go from there and we're doing this on a Mac so specifically you want to get it into QuickTime you can go from file to export in QuickTime choose audio only and then just give it a name and really for the purposes of this test I don't really care what the name sounds like so we're just gonna do that I did it once before to test so I'm gonna hit replace yay and then there it goes Boom, and it's done. So now I need to open GarageBand and pull my audio file in so that I can convert it to an MP3. You can also do this using the program Audacity if you're not on a Mac or if you don't have GarageBand or if you're just trying to do it through any other option at all. So, new project, and this part doesn't really matter so much, but I'm still gonna suggest you go with the podcast option. Choose that, open it up, give it a quick name. I'm gonna call it mine test mp3 create there it is let's just bring in our file there it is and there it is and really it doesn't matter you can use the default channels you can delete these other channels these other channels don't matter at all but if you have other elements that you want to add to your podcast if you want to do any sort of introduction if you want to add music if you want to add anything at the end if you want to add any sound effects anything like that you can now edit around those things slide your one file around do what you need to do from there go up click on the podcast track click on the info button give it a name tell it what you want it to know give it a description and then when you're all done with that hit share and you can either export the podcast to disk and choose the mp3 option and then you have three or four different versions that you can use musical podcast is actually a very high quality but also still gives you a smaller file so I would suggest that or you can also go send podcast to iTunes same thing it'll give you a bunch of options here you want to make sure you're using the mp3 option because if you want to get this for anybody who maybe isn't on an apple device the mp3 option is the most important one so again musical podcast will give you the highest quality with the lowest file size and you can change up all the names and everything once you've done that and it has exported to your desktop you will have an mp3 version that you can then use anywhere that you need to use it